Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to display the details of a meeting. So, so far we are done for now, we are done with the home.html. That's why I'm just going to go ahead and close it. I'm going to go to our views.py file within our meetings. So this is our meetings folder, right? And in here, I'm just going to open up the views.py file, which is empty currently. Now this, uh, in here, I'm going to add a, a view function. So I'm going to say, first off, I'm going to say from dot models. So from the models, uh, what do I want to import? I want to import the meeting class. I just want to import the meeting class. Now I'm going to say def detail. Let's pass in the request and the ID. In here, I'm going to say that the first, uh, I'm, I'm going to create the first variable, which is going to be the meetings. Now, this meeting is going to grab the me whichever meeting it is that we are actually trying to go to that meeting. And it, and it is going to trace these meetings based on their ID. So I'm going to grab the meeting object, uh, the meeting class. It, it is an object. And we know that we have an object's property on it that holds all the information uh, about our data in our database. And I'm going to say get, get me what? Get me any meeting that has a primary key equal to the ID that the user has passed. We're going to take a look at this, don't worry. And then we are going to say return, return, at the end we should say return, return something, render, so it means that we are trying to render a template to the user. I'm going to say request. And um, what is the template that we want to show to the user? Now, we have not actually created that template, but we are going to create it, right? Now, within the meetings folder, I'm going to create another folder and I'm going to call it templates. The drill is the same as with this templates that we had in the websites. It's the same. We are going to create a templates folder. Within the templates folder, we are going to create another directory, the name of which is going to be equal to the name of our app. Therefore, I'm going to say meetings. This is a best practice. Within the meetings, I'm going to create a detail.html. What is this detail.html going to do? The detail.html is going to show the details of any web, uh, not web, any meeting that the user is going to click on. So you remember in the uh, website introduction, right? When I clicked on any meeting, we re we were redirected to another another page where it said the meeting name and it said this meeting has been scheduled on this date and at this time in this room. So we are trying to recreate that. Now, the title of the meeting is going to be different. That's why I'm not going to hard code this. I'm just going to say meeting and I'm going to pass in a variable. So let's just create that. Now, the variable is going to grab the title from the meeting.title. We are going to take a look at this meeting as well. So you don't have to like really worry about it. So it's going to be meeting.title and um, you know what? First, I'm going to complete this views.py. That's uh, after that, this HTML page, this template is going to make sense. So where is our template? Uh, we know that Django by default expects a templates folder. We just have to specify where in the templates folder. So in the templates folder, we have a meetings folder. And in there, we have the detail.html file. And uh, for template variables, we are going to pass in a dictionary, which is going to say meeting. Now, this meeting is the name of the variable. This meeting is the meeting that we have provided within our template. What is the value for it is going to be the value for the template variable. What is the value? You remember with this meeting that we created here, right? So I'm just going to set it to that. And I'm going to save that. So, so far, we are done with this. We are done with this um, uh, views, uh, with the views file. All right. Um, there we go. So, we are done with this. I'm just going to jump back into our detail.html. 
uh, within the details of HTML, I'm going to provide an H1, which is going to be our title. And the title, again, is going to be dynamic. Why? Because we are going to have different titles for different meetings, right? Would it make sense to have one title for 1,000 meetings? So it is going to grab the title from that meeting, from this meeting that we have passed dot title. Let's remove that, save it. And then uh, we could say, um, for now, I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm just going to say, I'm just going to provide a paragraph and that says this meeting has been scheduled on, uh, where is the meeting date? So let's just pass in the meeting date. So meeting dot date. And I'm sure you are observing the object oriented fashion of these variables the same way as flask ginger variables. Let's pass in a comma at, at meeting dot start time. So meeting uh, dot start time. So we do have that uh, property as well. And uh, eventually I'm going to say in meeting the room. Meeting dot meeting dot row. Let's save everything. Uh, let's save this as well. Let's go to our application. And let's see. Uh, oh, we need to provide a URL a mapping as well for it. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So we need to map the view function to this URL within our URLs.py. So we are going to open up the URLs within the meeting planner, URLs.py. And in here, I'm going to add another URL mapping that is going to be path. Uh, let's just pass an... We are going to grab our meetings in here and let me think so how do we want this url to be shown to the user now for now i'm just going to make it hard coded and later on we are going to just make it dynamic so when the user clicks on any question on any meeting their user is going to be redirected to that meeting for now the only way is going to be like to change an integer within the url uh, which is located in the address bar of the browser. This is not an ideal way, but it is just going to suffice for now. So I'm going to say meeting. So if the user goes to meetings slash, let's pass in an integer, and that is going to be the ID, right? And you know where this ID is coming from. So when the user passes that ID in here, Flask is going to grab this URL and it is going to map it to the detail which we have to import as well. So do we have to import that? Let me just, uh, what is it saying? Detail is not defined. Let, let me just say detail. There we go. It is done. There we go. Perfect. So when the flask maps this URL, to this view function, it is going to grab the value of the ID, which is inserted in the browser, and it is going to pass it within this detail function, view function as a parameter. Then the value is going to come here and is going to come here. And then we are going to show the meeting.title based on the ID that the user has passed in the browser. So we are going to show the meeting.title, meeting.date, meeting.start time, and the meeting.room. So now you know how this this actually uh, processes the pro this process how this process actually works. Uh, do we have any problem in here? So it's the detail. I mean, it's um, it says from websites type. It, it is not from websites. It is from. Django. We have to import it from the meetings.views, right? It should not be imported from here. So I'm just going to remove that. And I'm going to say from a website, webs, not, not website, meetings.views import uh, detail. It should work now, right? Just save that. There we go. It works. I'm going to provide the type ignore as well. 
just because this view we just changed the view within the meetings not within the website we are done with that so everything is saved if I refresh the page everything is in order and I'm just gonna go to so what was the uh, the URL it was meetings slash now if I pass in one we should go to the first meeting and now oh it is not grabbing the meeting that start time you can see we are successfully grabbing the January 13 the date which if I just which one is that it is the HTML course review if I click on it it says January 13 2030 we selected that we didn't grab the meeting that start time which I'm not really sure what we have done incorrectly here. Maybe there is a typo in here. So let's go to detail. We have uh, meeting dot start time. Let me just select this start time. Don't we have this? Let me just just remove the spaces around it. This meeting. Let me just save this one save this one as well just refresh the page and there we go so maybe it was because it was on the second line now this meeting has been scheduled on january 13 2030 at 9 a.m in galactic shack room 13 on floor 20. we could go to the next meeting as well which is meeting number two and um, i'm going to check for the other meeting as well so january 13th 2030 both of them have the same uh, date I'm gonna change it for this one to maybe like some other month June 19th let's just save that let's just refresh the page there we go so June 19th 2030 9 a.m. we could change the time as well let's just say time now refresh the page there we go 1 33 p.m in cosmic hut room 53 floor 15 room uh if i click there it is room 53 uh floor 15. and finally we are going to go to our third meeting which is python course exercises which is arranged on this so this meeting has been scheduled on february 14th 2029 at 9 a.m in the universal cabin room 10 floor number four so with this our lecture comes to an end see you in the next one